how how can brands keep customers at the center of everything around generative AI, but also leveraging generative AI at the same time? Like, how can they still balance that customer centricity also with leveraging the technologies? Well, I think it's important to realize that AI shouldn't do everything. So opportunity discovery is absolutely critical. But when you talk about discovering opportunities, you bring the C-suite into it, and we need an AI literate C-suite, but we also need business literate data teams. If we don't have both sides of the equation, we can't succeed. The other problem is we think about AI as a scalpel, not a broadsword. It really is a scalpel. When you look at it as a broadsword, it, you're basically looking at costs scaling faster than returns. When you use it in a precise, really targeted way, your returns are exponential. That's the great thing about AI is it can actually live up to the hype. And the best thing to remember really to keep customers at the center is just engage with partners, simplify the technology so that your business can focus on creating and delivering value to customers and delivering those great experiences that align with your brand and when the technology sort of moves off to the side, you don't feel the pressure to put AI everywhere. It helps. It's a big deal. Nice, nice. Kirsten, what do you think? Yeah, Vin, I loved uh, the term you used, discovering opportunity. And I think that that's really what it is. And <clears throat> to frame it differently, you know, I think about it as avoiding shiny object syndrome, because in reality, mm. we have been leveraging models in business for a couple decades now, and that might have looked different. You were using a, you know, logistic regression model, but the idea was, you know, or, or the idea is it's not new um, wanting to apply a model to a problem in business and then sometimes getting derailed and working on items that are not the highest value. So it really goes back to looking at what is the ROI of the different initiatives? Um, what are the actual blockers for our customers in our business? You know, and going through the funnel, are we getting enough customers to the site? And then looking at the funnel and saying, okay, you know, at each increment, because generative AI is going to be able to help us in, you know, all sorts of different areas, but it's about identifying the problem first and then tailoring an AI solution to that rather than saying, okay, this cool new technique has come out. How do we shove that into our business? Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I think, you know, you're able to both identify what are our needs and find a cool use case that's going to be able to help you solve that problem. Well, and I just add that I think a similar thing happens when we're talking about AI in general and even customer experience in general, because sometimes we talk about it as if it's this like magic fairy dust that we can just put over everything. And we talk about customer experience that same way. We say things like, well, just create a great customer experience for everybody. It's so obvious, right? And one, I, I think in order to keep the customer at the center of everything you do, you have to start with a customer experience strategy. You have to figure out what is the experience you're trying to deliver? Where are those gaps in the experience now? And then apply you know, what would we want to happen and figure out how generative AI can actually help you do that? Because there are so many ways, both behind the scenes and for the customer, that it can support you. But, you know, similar to what you both said, we, we need to stop treating this like it's just this big kind of cloud that we put over everything. We need to think about what is the actual thing we're trying to do and make sure that we're starting with that customer experience. Jenny, and uh, I, I love I was sitting here taking notes and I was just like, uh, I love the avoid shiny object syndrome. Right. And mm -hmm. I think so many times the customer needs to be the center of everything when it comes to the experience. Right. You uh, we, we, you know, we had conversations about this before where we talked about like the first place you go to is generative AI. Then you kind of have that output. I think customer experience, you need to start with the people first. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, Kristen, you said this perfectly. Right. Like you got to identify the problem. You've got to intimately know the customer, right? Like you've got to know that first before you can even think about leveraging any generative AI to develop strategy, to develop tactics, to develop metrics or execution plans, right? Like if you don't intimately know the customer's pain, 
their frustrations, their their opportunities, what motivates them, it doesn't matter. You can have the best generative AI tool out there. It's not going to be able to do it. So having that human centered focus and that perspective first and then leveraging the tools, that's really, and I, I think I, I love that point that we all talked about. 